wanted to start Bella Bola just because I had actually opened up MI Gardener, which is another shop downtown focusing on uh, gardening and just kind of living healthier, eating healthier. And so I didn't really want to give up some of those foods that I liked. I just wanted to find healthier alternatives. In my quest of doing that, I actually discovered a healthier version of pizza, which was Neapolitan style pizza. Because it doesn't have a lot of the preservatives, it is fresher and it is, you know, really more natural. It allowed me to still kind of, every once in a while, eat pizza and still enjoy pizza, but making a healthier decision. Because there wasn't a whole lot of options out there for us to, you know, to do that besides make it ourselves. I thought, you know, I can't be the only one that wants to enjoy this. And a lot of people all around the world are enjoying uh, brick oven, you know, Neapolitan style pizzas. I said, why not bring this to Port Huron? So, because I'd already kind of had that foundation and that kind of thing to build off of, I actually said, you know what, this might be a natural progression to just open up a pizzeria. And uh, so I said, why not, let's do it. So our oven is actually handmade over on the East Coast. And they actually had to truck it over here, came all assembled and actually the window that is in the front of the, the pizzeria, they actually had to take all of that off, all the brick, to fit it inside of the pizzeria. So it came in, came in on a big truck, they brought it down a forklift, and it was probably one of the most stressful things because this, this right here is the pizzeria. You know, without the oven, you just have a bunch of coolers and mixers and ingredients, you know, that the pizza is what makes it. It's not only the most integral component to the whole thing, but it's also the most expensive component to the whole thing. And you can't just say, after you wait eight weeks for them to hand make it, each stone is laid by someone that's been in the family for three generations. So it's just a different experience than uh, your average pizza place where they take out the frozen dough and they put it in the oven and you don't really see what goes on. Whereas you walk through here and you kind of have a little show put on for you and you can see everything that's going on your pizza. You can see the kitchen it's made in. Our pizza dough actually starts uh, fresh. We make all, all our dough in house. Start with just the same ingredients that pizza has always started with, which is flour, water, yeast, and salt. We make it all with imported flour right from Italy. And then we actually let it naturally ferment. It's a lot different than uh, your standard pizza because we actually allow natural yeast to form. So it's a lot like, uh, like beer or wine, it actually ferments. So it, make, it actually builds flavor, it actually builds good air pockets. So you get really good fluffy dough. And that's the way that pizza's been made for thousands of years, or hundreds of years, not thousands of years. I'm gonna make our most famous pizza, the pepperoni. Pizza's meant to be fun. It's meant to be a family experience. And the name Bella Bola, we kind of came up with because I want it to be something that is childlike. Because I've always said, you know, when you, when you make food fun, it's not only more memorable, but uh, I think it tastes better too. And so Bella Bola is actually Italian for beautiful bubble. And the reason for choosing that is because our crust has a lot of bubbles. All of our ingredients, as you'll see, are never frozen. Nothing is frozen, everything is fresh. From the bases, all the way to the, you know, the meats and the toppings, everything is fresh. We actually made that a part of our company culture because we believe that food should be fresh. We believe that uh, fresh food is healthier food for you. That is the pepperoni. It's super simple. It's just a red base with fresh mozzarella. At Bella Bowl, we really wanted to kind of integrate timeless pizza, but also fun things as well. With our drinks, we try to do the same thing. None of our drinks have high fructose corn syrup. A lot of them come in glass bottles, which is uh, far more uh, renewable. It's far more environmentally friendly. I'd encourage anyone to come out and try our pizza. It's definitely something you have to experience. You have to taste it in order to just know the difference. Um, but we say as soon as you have one bite, you're hooked. We actually have an event coming up on the 14th for National Pie Day. Um, if you wanna try our pizza, it's $2. Uh, you actually get a, a 10 inch pizza for just $2. It's uh, only gonna be pepperoni and cheese, but it's gonna be a good way to give people a taste. We do mix things up on a weekly and monthly basis when it comes to the pizza of the month and a pizza of the week. This is actually the pizza of the month. This is a pickle pizza. It has a white base with provolone and mozzarella blend. It also has uh, some diced chicken and pickles with a ranch drizzle, and then we actually just take a garnish of, uh, of dill, uh, dill weed and actually sprinkle that on top. We had a bacon mac and cheese truffle, white truffle pizza. We have a French dip pizza you dip in au jus. Always willing to try new things if it works and it tastes good. The stuff that they have come to know and love, they can still get, but if they want to try something new and fun and they, you know, they're in for a surprise, we got some fun stuff too.